and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally filming my nursery tour, which is why this is a different setting and obviously you guys know that by the name of this video. Um, I don't know why this is taking me so long to finish. I feel like I started working on this room when I was like 20 weeks pregnant, you know, with like the painting and getting the furniture in. Um, Ron building it and putting it in. It was just all the final touches that took such a long time that I didn't expect. The only reason why I'm actually sitting down and filming this today is because last night at like 8 o'clock at night, Ron put up like the last three things in this room. That way I was like, all right, now I can actually sit down and film it because I didn't want to film it when I still had things sitting around for this room. I still feel like there's like one or two things that I want to still add to this room. And so I feel like it's never going to be like 100% done and obviously once he gets here I'm sure I'll be changing things around you know like whatever ends up working for us I'll figure out when I'm using it but until he's here which I'm praying is very soon because 39 weeks and two days today so <sighs> so he can come at any time now which I'm hoping is sooner than later um, I also am being induced Wednesday. Today is Thursday. So next Wednesday in six days, I'll be going to the hospital regardless if he has come naturally or not. So in less than a week, I will be at the hospital regardless waiting for him. So I wanted to get this up before he was here because I feel like once he's here, this room is not going to be as clean and organized. You know, I mean, I'm sure it'll be more organized towards what works for us but it may not be as aesthetically pleasing for like a video type of thing so enough rambling I wanted to just give you guys a little background on why it took me so long I apologize also if you guys stick around to the very end of this video I'll be finally revealing his name which is so exciting this entire pregnancy I didn't plan on like hiding his name until the very end of my pregnancy whatsoever. I always planned on revealing his name with a nursery tour, which I thought was going to be up long, long time ago. So it just so happened that I finally finished it at 39 weeks, which is unfortunately the very end of my pregnancy. So I apologize for like hiding it this entire time. Um, but yeah, so if you guys want to see my nursery and you guys want to see his name, then keep on watching. So this is the room when you're walking in. Misfit is literally always laying right here. He's always in <laughs> the changing pad, which is so funny. This room, as you can tell, is very small. Um, we chose the smallest room of our house, actually. It was between this and my makeup room. At the time, I wanted to keep my makeup room because I really like it. It fits all my things. Um, without realizing just exactly how small this room was once all the furniture came in. If I could go back, I definitely would have chosen my makeup room and move my makeup room into here. But you know what? I love how cozy it is. Babies don't need that much room. I mean, they're not gonna be like around playing. And by the time we have our second kid, he will be taking over that room anyways. And this will just stay the nursery. So it it ends up working out. I apologize that the lighting is going to be changing consistently. I'm trying to make it as best as I can. It's just a really gloomy day outside today. It's winter in Michigan, so the sun doesn't come out that often, but um, I'm trying. So anyways, this is where we just were. This was the door opening. This is the back of the room. This is his closet. These stickers, they're vinyl stickers. They actually came with his bedding that I'll show you guys in a minute, and I love it. It really was just able to like spruce up his closet door a little bit, which I loved. The bookshelves. My dad actually made them. Love how these turn out. This is actually something that Ron put up last night. Oh, I just love how this turned out. Going back over here, my dad picked this out and gave this to us at the shower. Um, it's just funny because like my dad's not that type of person to like go into a store and pick something out. This is where I was just talking to you guys. This is the chair. I got this from Wayfair and I really, really like it. Um, it swivels, it rocks, and it reclines, which I think is really, really nice. Everything I'm able to find a link to still I'll put below but um I'm pretty sure that they still sell this chair I also got this rug it is a five by seven I got this also at Wayfair this was super cheap the quality is amazing and I think it was only like 55 dollars when I got it 
Highly, highly recommend. I actually bought a second one for my spare bedroom for the guest room. And I really like it. It's like a shag gray rug and it matches perfectly with like the wall color. So I really like that. The curtains I bought at Target. I actually got these online and I wish you guys could see like the true color. Um, it matches this blue wall almost perfectly. And it's just crazy that I bought them online. I didn't see them in person because this is not a normal blue color. So the fact that I was able to find something so exact without even seeing it in person is something I'm so proud of. But yeah, so I got these, really like them. I know they are blackout. I wanted to make sure I got blackout so that when he's a little bit older and sleeping in here, it's completely dark, no matter what time of the day it is. And then these, I love these. My mom got these from Hobby Lobby for us. Um, the room, obviously, if you couldn't already tell, is like a gender neutral safari theme. Um, I didn't go too crazy. I didn't want to do anything too childish or kitty in here. I wanted to still have it like sophisticated, but yet still fun for like a little boy with the blue and the gray. So I really like how it all turned out and all the pieces that we found. So these are super cute. I don't know if I'm actually going to use them for the hooks. Um, but even if I do, like I can put like a towel on there or a blanket or something like that. So it's very, so I really like these. And then down here, next to my chair right here is my chair. Um, I have this little roller cart that I got from Target. I think I got this for only like $25, which is really good. This is on wheels and I can kind of just bring it with me anywhere. So the top part of it is going to be like my breastfeeding um, pumping station. So I have some burp cloths in here, my Haka Spectra breast pump. I have some milk bags in here just for extra storage. I don't know if I'm actually going to need them here. Just pads in here. And then I also have some like nipple cream and I also have the boobies um, organic pumping lubricant. I heard that this is good if you're pumping. I do have the actual nipple cream by them, but that's in my hospital bag. So once I come home, I'll be taking that out. And then these are my pumps and all that kind of stuff. I already sanitized all that. So I just have it sitting here. Here I can actually take out. I'm not going to just because it's kind of hard to get back in here, but it's just like another uh, changing station basically. So I have extra diapers in here. I have my wipes, I have some cream and all that kind of stuff. So I can just take this around with me anywhere. And then in the very bottom, I have more diapers, nursing pads, just in case I need them. And I kind of didn't have anywhere to put these. If I'm ever in here breastfeeding, I can always just pull this over, have everything I need right next to me. I also plan on putting this in our bedroom at nighttime. That way I just have like another changing station. I don't know if I'm going to be changing his diapers in there or if I'm going to bring him into this room. Obviously, like I said a hundred times, that's something I'll probably figure out as we go on, but it's just a really good idea. I just really like that I have extra things and I can kind of just bring it with me anywhere. So now going across to one of my absolute favorite areas, this is obviously his crib. I love these pictures. This is actually what I based the entire room off of. These were the first things that I got for the room. Like I said, I wanted to do like a baby safari kind of theme, but I didn't want to do it really like childish or super colorful. I wanted to keep it very sophisticated and neutral still. So when I found these at Hobby Lobby, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just very beautiful, artistic kind of um, wall art, but it's still child friendly to me. So if we go down a little bit, this is his crib. I got this from Target. Um, my in-laws and my parents went in on all of the furniture in this room and got it for us as our shower present. So we are so, so grateful for that. Um, and then Ron's family friend got us bedding and then this just really goes along with it it's like little baby safari animals very gender neutral nothing very bright colored or anything like that just grays browns whites and blacks and i really like this i really need to steam it because it's wrinkly <laughs> i've had it out for a while and the wrinkles haven't come out along with the curtains um those are still kind of newer but yeah i definitely need to get a steamer in get all this out but I'm sure once he's here I'm not going to care about wrinkles but I really do like this I got this from Lamb's Ivy it's online I also saw that they sold some of it I think at Target and I know they sell some of it at um, Bye Bye Baby I didn't see this exact print but I do really really like it 
and then this is the fitted sheet that comes with it they came with another gray one um I just have this one on for right now because I thought it was really cute and match and then I have my boppy over here I don't know where to put this for now so I just threw it in here someone from my work gave us our little mobile so this is really cute and it's funny because it was actually theirs to begin with um and it just kind of worked out because I have the giraffe blue and gray theme the blue doesn't match the wall as perfectly but it's still it'll work for him what I really like about this crib is down here is actually two more drawers. So there's just so much extra storage. This room is very small, like you guys can see, like I said. Um, so anything that had extra storage, I was all about. So I'm thinking I'm just going to keep like his bedding in here. That's the other gray fitted sheet that came with this bed. And then I'm sure I'll have other things like blankets in here. I'm probably going to end up putting that in here because they don't even use the quilt until they're a lot older or if ever. So for now, there's really nothing in here, but I know I'll be getting a lot of use out of this later on. So moving over here, I just have the diaper genie and then like a little clothes bin. I see so many people using this dresser and I definitely know why. It's such a good quality. It's extremely affordable and it just has so many compartments. There's eight drawers on this and I love the smaller ones on top because their stuff is so tiny so it just gives you more organization with the tinier drawers which I'm a big fan of so I really like this we just change out the knobs I got these ones on Amazon they kind of just matched like the brown woody type of theme that I had going on. I'll link them below if I still can find this them. This is a changing pad. We got this from Target. Um, and then I also got the changing pad cover from Target as well. I have his diaper wipe container, the Hatch Baby, which I'm super excited about having. And then I also have this little elephant here from Pottery Barn we got as a gift from our shower. This is um, one of those little light things that go on the ceiling and it's super cute. So I just have that over here. So right above the changing pad is the mirror and I have a shelf which is going to be where you guys are going to see his name so I'm trying to block that out as long as I can um but the mirror I had so many different dupes for these this is by far the cheapest and the best quality one that I found for this price um I believe it was only $55 at Target all the other ones I've seen were well over $100 the other cheapest one I believe was like 90 at Wayfair and they're all the exact same thing I mean it's just a mirror and then what you guys I'm sure have all been waiting for it is the name of our son which is so weird like it I don't know why I feel so weird to like finally tell you guys and I feel like I have to do like this big thing but I don't know how to do like a name reveal in a big way so I guess I will just show you guys how exciting Carson James Kozlowski that is going to be his name I absolutely love it and I'm so happy that I'm finally able to tell you guys and say it because I've said it so many times and had to restart a video or restart my sentence because I didn't want to say it before I showed you guys the nursery tour. So his name is Carson James Kozlowski. I got these little cutouts for the board on um, Etsy. I got the Carson Kozlowski and then the ones in the Curse of the Pounds, Ounces and Inches um, from the same person. I believe it's like Honeycomb something they also have an instagram i'll link it all below they're super cute you get to choose whatever color you want whatever size whatever font i really like how this looks. i'm actually going to pack this in my hospital bag right after that way i can take it with us i love how this all turned out i love how simple it is this is good for a boy or a girl honestly in my opinion i just love how everything turned out and the last thing in the room is the light fixture i love this we got it from home depot um this originally had one of those like nipple lights if you guys know <laughs> what i mean that's what i had in here i hated it i saw this actually in another picture so i looked for something similar and i found this i really like it it's an led light um ron installed it so i just really like that if i can find it still i'll link that below as well that just that just sums up the room i hope you guys enjoyed Hopefully this wasn't all over the place. It's actually a lot harder to film this than I thought it was um, <laughs> because the room is smaller, the lighting kept on changing, and it's kind of hard to like get everything in here. But yeah, I hope you guys liked it. If you Like I said, I'll link everything I can find down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell down below. That way you guys don't miss out on any of my other upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.